and welcome to Ocala Grand Prix. My name is Tony Modica. So glad you're joining us. We have a lot of great, exciting features here at the track. And again, Ocala Grand Prix, known as one of the premier tracks around the country and even around the world. We feature national events, which bring drivers from all over the world here and compete very, very well here at Ocala Grand Prix. Again, for our local fans, we have racing here nine months out of the year. That is our local series, which we run in the fall and also in the spring of the year, which really gives the opportunity for youngsters from ages five all the way up to adults up to 70 something years old to come here and race at Ocala Grand Prix. Also, we have our driver instructions here at Ocala Grand Prix. If you're new to racing, want to learn more about it, we can take care of you right here. Also, if you like to get involved in racing and never been involved in racing, want to just try it with your family, your friends, come out, have some good fun here at Ocala Grand Prix, you can try our club carts. These club carts will get up to speed, believe it or not, up to 60 miles per hour. So it'll give you a lot of great fun here and a lot of great competition at the track. Also, we have one of the largest parts departments for all of your racing karting needs. We can take care of you. You can also check out our online store here at the track. In this episode, you'll see some of the highlights of our previous year, some very exciting racing, which we've seen a lot of great competition, all kinds of weather, all kinds of different conditions, which really makes it exciting here at the track. Again, we're looking forward to this episode here at Ocala Grand Prix. Hi, I'm Tony Monica, and welcome to Ocala Grand Prix, the world-famous Ocala Grand Prix. One of the great features here at Ocala Grand Prix is our concession carts. These carts will go over 65 miles per hour here, and it's a great opportunity for you and your family, friends, to come out and have some great fun. Here we are in our Ocala Grand Prix parts room. This is where all the parts are stored for all of our race team and for our monthly local series race. We feature bumpers, seats, clutches, chains, everything you possibly need. And you can also check out our online store for all your needs for your racing carts. So here we are on the grid. This is where all the action and all the fun begins with our concession carts. You and your family can come out and enjoy a great day here at Ocala Grand Prix. What an incredible finish in our spring series here at Ocala Grand Prix. Very exciting race and we've seen very close point standing races all the way through the entire season. Not only were the points races very close, we had to do it weather, a lot of rain, then we dealt with hot conditions, so it really made it exciting for all of our drivers here at the track. We've seen first time winners, believe it or not, a handful of new champions in the spring series, also new drivers making their debut here at the track, which really makes it exciting, where drivers are able to learn from our spring series and move on to national events. Again, what an outstanding season we had here in the spring of 2017. Here's a look at some of the highlights here from the track. Welcome to Ocala Grand Prix as we move into round number two of our spring summer series. Hello again, everybody. I'm Tony Monica. We've got gorgeous weather here for round number two, loaded with a great field of drivers, some kit carts all the way up to shifters. We're looking for some great racing. And again, don't forget to join us live here at Ocala Grand Prix. Also follow us on Facebook here at Ocala Grand Prix. And we're excited for some great racing here today. up with club cart driver Adam Parker. Adam, as we get ready for round number two here in our spring summer series, coming off third place finish back in round one. How do you see your practice session this morning going into qualifying here today? Track's getting a lot better. Um, temperatures, as you mentioned earlier today, are cool enough to where we are seeing some amazing speeds out here. So uh, now we're just trying to balance the speed versus handling. But um, third place, I think, is a good start for today. And I just hope that I can catch one of them make a mistake. All right, listen, good luck qualifying coming up in just a little bit. You'll move into your pre-final final. Good luck today, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the podium later on tonight. Thank you, Tim. Adam Parker here at Ocala Grand Prix, one of our Rotex Club Car drivers.
wraps it up. Round number two, Ocala Grand Prix Spring Summer Series. Round number two, an outstanding day of racing all the way from kit carts to shifters. We've seen some outstanding racing side by side. Great passing. And again, another safe day here at Ocala Grand Prix. It's round number three here at Ocala Grand Prix Local Series. Want to welcome everybody. I'm Tony Monica. Again, things going to change a little bit here on this Saturday. As you can see, the rain conditions now are really going to make the track very wet. So a different approach for all the drivers here. Going to be some very exciting racing as we work our way through round number three here at Ocala Grand Prix Local Series. All right, catching up with Ocala Grand Prix team driver in the junior class, Dylan Gennaro. Dylan getting some seat time. Hard to believe, Dylan, we're in the month of May, and this is your first appearance in the local series. Obviously, you've been on the road a little bit. All kinds of weather conditions. Started out on slicks, got into rain tires, got a little extra seat time today in the X30 class. How did you adjust coming off the slicks, getting into the rain? How was your day, and, and assess what, what went on today? Well, uh, we started off in the first practice with um, not putting any rain setup on. We just threw tires on just to see if the car ran okay. And then in the second, or actually in qualifying, we went from just normal dry setup to full rain setup and the car, car was pretty good. I just wasn't really prepared and I haven't driven in the rain in a while and I got used to it and got better. Listen, good luck as we close in on halfway through 2017. I want to thank everyone at OGP, everybody that's put any time into my car, like Nate, um, Nate, Chris, Austin, Murph, my uh, tuner Chad, George especially out of everyone, God, and my parents. All right, listen, congratulations, OGP team driver Dylan Gennaro in a junior class. We'll see you out there in Pittsburgh coming up soon. And again, as we wrap up round number three here this afternoon, what a day it was. We started out as we talked to Dylan. Sunny skies, a little overcast. We started on slicks. The rains came, stayed with us throughout most of the day. By the end of the day, we went back to slicks. And again, we've seen some incredible racing here in round number three. Well, it's round number four here at Ocala Grand Prix Local Series. Hello again, everybody. I'm Tony Modica. Round number four out of five events, boy. We are looking at some very tight point races, exciting racing again. We dealt with rain last month. Hopefully the rain will hold off as we move into round number four here at Ocala Grand Prix. up with Ethan Ayers, Mini Swift driver here joining us at Ocala Grand Prix as we move into round number four. Ethan, first of all, welcome to Ocala Grand Prix. I know this is your first official race here at Ocala Grand Prix. Yeah, it's, I like the track. I love it. All right now, talk about, I said this is your first start, but you're not really a stranger here. You've taken the Ocala Grand Prix school. Tell us a little bit about the school and how much that's helped you here in your racing career. Well, I just want to thank Chris for helping me. Um, all over the school. We had um, two other kids with us. That was awesome that I had them there because we would all work together, bump draft, and it was awesome. We were gonna do brake testing, but on the outlap, I literally slammed into the barrier and, well, bent the steering shaft, I think? I don't know. Yeah, so I couldn't do that, and so we're probably going to do that tomorrow. All right, now that's helped you out quite a bit. Now, I know you said that you also are going the opposite way that you train. How much are you able to adapt the track going the opposite way? Obviously, you've done pretty well in qualifying. Yeah, I. it's pretty good. I, I actually um, don't know which way I like better because they're both awesome. All right, now you're all the way from Kansas City. How about the competition here in Florida? We talked about it earlier. You said the competition is pretty tough down here in Florida as you come all the way down from Kansas City to make your first start here at Ocala Grand Prix. Yeah, I love the competition. That's my favorite part about racing. Down in Kansas City, it's really not a great complex. 
and there's no competition at all. So that's why we come down here, go to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and, P and stuff like that. So you actually do a lot of traveling at other racetracks around the country? Yes. All right, listen, congratulations all the way from Kansas City. Good luck today. I know we still got the pre-final and final coming your way, and congratulations on a, on a great start so far. And by the way, we talked about your favorite race car driver. Who is that? Martin Truex Jr. Not a bad pick. Again, great job. Again, want to thank again Ethan Ayers all the way from Kansas City. So he joins us here at Ocala Grand Prix, round number four for our local series. As always, follow us on Facebook at OcalaGrandPrix.com. Also, go to the website, OcalaGrandPrix.com. I'm Tony Modica. It's round five here at Ocala Grand Prix Local Series. Hello again, everybody. I'm Tony Monica. It is not only round number five, it is championship weekend. We're looking for some very, very exciting racing. Temperatures are going to be very hot. Racing on the tracks even going to be hotter. Yeah, looking forward to seeing who our next champion will be here at Ocala Grand Prix. Also, it'll be fireworks later on tonight as we look forward to championship weekend here at Ocala Grand Prix. All right, we're catching up with Ocala Grand Prix team driver in the junior class, Jade Huber. Jade, again, today got a little seat time here in our local series. Talk a little bit about the advantage of you coming out here and getting a little practice here in our local series. It was definitely a very fun race, um, very good competition, and everything was really good. All right, not only today did you get practice, we were out here last week again. Talk about the seat time that you get on off weekends. You guys run a lot of laps here with Jeremy Fletcher, obviously teammate Dylan Gennaro, Zachary Holland said. Talk about the time that you guys actually spend out there. People don't realize how many laps you get out here on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, by every practice that we go to, we have to do at least 200 laps. And we just have fun on the track, and it feels like we've done at least 50. It's so much fun. All right, now you're one of the newer members here at Ocala Grand Prix, joining the team here earlier in the spring, obviously ran with the Florida Winter Tour. Talk about joining the team and, and the advantage you have being here with the team and here at Ocala Grand Prix. Yeah, we definitely talk about um, just if I do a mistake or they do a mistake, um, we definitely just talk it over, and over the next session, we'll we'll try to fix it. Another part of being on the team here at Ocala Grand Prix, the travel. Obviously, you guys move up into the summer months here. You're going to do some traveling with different series. What is it like to go out of the state and go to tracks that maybe you have not been at? What's the advantage that you guys have with the teammates? Talk about going to other tracks around the country. Um, it's definitely a lot of fun trying new tracks, and we just do data over every session, and I think that's our strongest advantage. And then let me ask you this too, and we asked the other drivers of the team, how about school work and things like that through the year? Because you guys do travel, you talked about the Florida Winter Tour, so many series that Ocala does participate in throughout the year. How is school and how difficult is it to keep up with school work? Um, it's definitely very hard. We normally get full of packets of work um, when we have a week off from, you know, not doing school. But we're very strict on school, we normally keep A's and B's, and we have to keep A's and B's throughout the year. All right, looking up to the second half of the season, working up through July, got a couple big events coming up. Talk about what you're looking forward to and what are you really trying to accomplish now as we go into the second half of the season? I'm definitely trying to get podium or either trying to split um, the both drivers apart and not me being always third. Looking good for or looking forward to coming up over the summertime. A lot of great racing going on. And listen, congratulations joining uh, Ocala Grand Prix in the junior class. And good luck the rest of the year. And uh, good luck with your racing career. Thank you so much. And Ocala Grand Prix team driver in the junior class, Jade Hubert.
So as we wrap up championship weekend, round number five here at Ocala Grand Prix Local Series, incredible racing. There's been such great racing as we've seen champions now being crowned here this afternoon and this evening. But again, it's very exciting all season long as we look forward to moving on to our fall winter series. What an incredible finish to our spring series with all the crazy weather. Take a look at our team here at Ocala Grand Prix. We have four drivers who have the opportunity not only to race here locally, they'll race around in the United States, also around the world. Another feature here at Ocala Grand Prix is our scholarship, which is not seen anywhere in the country, where two drivers have the opportunity for a four-year ride at a university here in the state of Florida. This is something that you'll not see at any other track. And again, they drivers have to compete all season long to make every race to get that scholarship. Again, a great opportunity for these youngsters to develop their racing skills, also very competitive on the track and off the track in their schooling as they develop their way into the auto racing world. As we go behind the scenes with the Ocala Grand Prix race team, as we'll introduce our junior drivers, Jade Hubert, Zachary Howenshead, Dylan Gennaro, and Mini Swift driver, Jeremy Fletcher. First off, we'll check in with the veteran driver, Dylan Gennaro. Dylan, you've been racing a long time, veteran driver with the team. How long have you actually been racing? I've been racing with OGP about 11 years. I've never been with another team. I got sponsored like about four years ago. All right, now you get to travel around the United States, but also out of the country. You've been to Italy, you've been to other countries. Talk a little bit about going to other countries and other racetracks. What is your favorite racetrack? And tell us about one of your favorite tracks. My favorite racetrack is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, I like it because all the hills and it, it's like really tough on you and it gets you going and it's really fun. All right, now being the veteran here with the team and you're 15 years old now, how is it with the other drivers? Are they learning from you? And then do you guys kind of work together and try to give each other information? Tell us a little bit about working with the team. We all help each other. Um, even if you've been here three months, you can still help the, the veteran drivers. We can all learn from each other. We all help each other. And it's amazing how long you've been racing. You're 15 years old. It's just been a long time. And you actually got started on the dirt, didn't you? Yes, sir. And now joining us is Zachary Howens. And Zachary, talk a little bit about the tracks that you've been to and some of your favorite tracks around the country. Sonoma Raceway, that's really fun, really high speed. Uh, Pittsburgh, that racetrack in Pennsylvania, it's really fast. Right now, and obviously you've had a lot of success with multiple series, touring series. How about running down to West Palm where in the Rock Cup Series, you really were dominating down there. Talk a little bit about West Palm and how strong you were down at West Palm. You know, I was always at the top of the charts. It's a really fun track, easy to learn. A lot of competition. Right, and now you talk about the competition. How about working with your teammates? How is it working when you have Jade behind you, Dylan in front of you, or Dylan behind you? Talk a little bit about what it is having the team members and, and how it works together. It all benefits each and every one of us. You know, we learn off of who's faster, learn who's slower, what they're doing wrong. Well, listen, congratulations on what's been really going well for you here at Ocala Grand Prix. Junior driver Zachary Howland said, now the newcomer to the team is Jade Huber. Jade, uh, how do you like being with Ocala Grand Prix? And I know you've been around racing a long time. I remember you were really tiny growing up now and joining Ocala Grand Prix. How do you like being with the team? And tell us a little bit about what you're learning from the other drivers here. This team is very positive and we cooperate very well and it's just a great team to work with. All right, how about some of the favorite tracks that you've been at, maybe not just with the team, but I know I've announced for you at other places. Tell us about one of your favorite tracks and, and one of the reasons why you like those tracks. I like the Newcastle track. I like the elevation and everything is just high speed and I love it. Yeah, big, busy track there, very big and a lot of racing room there. That is Jay Hubert, junior driver. All right, uh, Mini Swift driver, Jeremy Fletcher. Jeremy. You've been racing a long time. We talked about you being 10 years old. I remember when you started in kit carts. How long have you actually been racing? Six years, but I've only been with the team about seven months. All right, now how about going to other tracks around the country? Tell us about some of your favorite tracks because you do a lot of racing. I remember when you raced, you know, as a youngster with, with Man Cup and so many other series. Talk about some of your favorite tracks. Well, actually, I like Monticello because it's just very nice and I like the rhythm and Pittsburgh and also Newcastle because it's a lot of high speed. You have a favorite track though where you've had one or had a lot of success at? Maybe Monticello, Tallahassee. 
Very big track. I enjoyed a huge wide track, a lot of racing room. All right, Jeremy, hey, listen, congratulations on a great job. Good luck with the rest of the year. That is the Ocala Grand Prix race team. So it'll be very exciting to see how our team finishes out the 2017 season. Now I'd like you to meet our race team director here at Ocala Grand Prix. This is Nate Grendel. Nate, a longtime carter, has a lot of great information in karting. Nate, again, congratulations on your success and uh, great to see you here today. Yeah, good to be here. Now talk a little bit about your background in karting. You're the race team manager here at Ocala. But talk about your history, and you have a lot of history of racing yourself and your father also involved in racing. Talk a little bit about your history in racing. Well, uh, my father, his, his father, uh, built a track behind the, the farm just to keep the kids busy. So we've been, the whole family has been racing for years. Talk a little bit about how racing has changed over the years now when you talk about this track that your dad set up years ago. How much has it changed, the technology and things have changed in the world of karting? The technology's way advanced from back then. We've got dynos now, the motor programs, the teams, the driver coaches way more advanced. Talk about how much goes into getting those teams to go to different tracks around the country and even out of the country. Well, the travel, the, the advance that you got to plan, getting all the people lined up, it's, it's a normal job. And, and then you talk about getting the drivers together. Talk a little bit about our four team driver. Uh, we have Jeremy, Jade, obviously a couple, you know, junior drivers with us. And then we have the youngster, Jeremy Fletcher in there. Uh, Zachary Howland said a junior driver. There's some pretty good kids in there. Talk a little bit about the team and how they all work together. Uh, the team's awesome. The kids are getting to work together as a team. We do a bunch of activities. Uh, with their school programs, it's tough to work with them and get all the practice, the laps, the, the fitness, everything it needs to to win races, do good, perform. I see the kids out here practicing quite a bit. You guys get the team to practice a lot. How does that affect the schooling when they do have a lot of travel and, and they're missing a lot of school? How does that work with the kids? It's really tough on them, but I think it helps them mature early. Uh, to be a sponsored driver here, you gotta have uh, at least a B average or uh, no more racing. Talk about the competition now. We talk about the local series here at Ocala Grand Prix, which is probably one of the premier local series in the country. Then the kids have the opportunity to travel around the state of Florida, then around the country. Talk about the competition, though, that OGP team goes up against, because you know we go up against some big time racers around the world. Well, that's what makes it fun. That's what makes everybody work so hard here. It's, we're racing against the best in the world, and we travel to go do it. So to match our kids and our homegrown work here up against everybody in the country and across the world, it's, it's fun. It's fun going to Italy, it's fun going to California, Indianapolis. It's pretty cool seeing the kids do it. Fred, I was gonna ask you too, when you talk about those other tracks like that, Nate, that does build the experience for the driver themselves, gives them that background and the competition to grow as drivers. And, and we've seen many drivers here at Ocala Grand Prix have stepped up to open wheel racing, have come through the program here at Ocala Grand Prix. But again, the competition level is so high at these facilities, that really does improve the driver's, you know, rating and the driver's ability to drive and race. Yeah, the, any, any laps, any experience, any, the maturity of a younger kid having an adult brain that can act and do interviews and all the stuff it takes. It, it's neat seeing them grow. All right. Now, how about kids who want to get involved in racing? We have our local series we've been talking about it. Nate, outstanding local series. How about kids who want to get into it? Say, hey, I've never really raced before. What can they do here at Ocala Grand Prix? And, and talk about the instructors here and how they can help these children grow and learn in the world of racing. The cool part about OGP is we're only here to give all these kids and whoever wants to race the tools to do it. So we're just here for anybody to come up. We've got driving schools, instructors, we've got all the equipment. Any kid that wants to race and has the heart to do it, we've got the people here to aim them in the right direction, give them the proper stuff. It's, it's a pretty, pretty neat atmosphere. It, it is a great atmosphere. How does it make you feel when you turn on the TV now and you look at youngsters who have raced here at Ocala Grand Prix? We talk about Oliver Askew, one of the great ones out there, Kyle Kirkwood. Kids have come through here. How does it make you feel that you've seen these kids as little kids, Nate, grow up now? Here they are running open wheel. What does it make you feel like here in, in being associated with those kids and really having a lot to do with their development, you personally? It's what keeps me going in the sport, seeing the kids, you know, showcase their talents and make tough decisions in life with uh, agents and what they're going to do behind the scenes and seeing them poke through the hardest things to do and the percentages of people making it, 
it's so neat to see the kids that, you know, grew up in my house. They, we go to dinner, we hang out with the families. They're just normal, kids. normal friends, kids that I've hung out with, and to see them on TV is amazing. What's the competition of the Cromedy where the kids get together at the track when they're all together like that? You do have three junior drivers and of course Jeremy the youngster in there. How are the kids off the track? Well, because obviously they're competing when they're on the track. There's no doubt about it. High stakes on the track. You want to win, you want to get that podium. How are the kids off the track and, and what do you see between the kids? Do they mess around with each other? Do they hang out? Talk a little bit about the team off the track. Well, with the competition and them being athletes, it's type A personalities, so of course I've got the hardest job containing <laughs> them and making sure everything's going in the right direction, but they're teenagers, they're kids. Mm -hmm. We allow them to have fun, they got to grow up and go through the same stuff we did growing up, and it's neat. Sometimes we're doing crazy stuff, right. sometimes we're too calm. It's it's a juggling act to keep them balanced. Right. All right, as we look ahead to the later part of the fall, you guys are going to be going to Las Vegas coming up in another month or so. Talk a little bit about the preparation there to getting ready. You guys take a whole semi full of stuff out there. It's incredible what all goes into it. But talk about the big race coming up in November and, and what, what's the chances and how does the OGP team stand out getting ready to go to Vegas? All we can do is the preparation. We've, we're revamping the dyno. We've just ordered the parts for the motors. Uh, new carts, we've got test days set up, so all the preparation and making sure all the pieces of the puzzle and the cart and everything work proper before we go, getting the kids on point, making sure everything's ready there, and then behind that's the school and making sure all that's taken care of. It's a big process. And we started way early. And people don't realize how much really goes into it. I know Nate, he's always running around. It's very hard to get a hold of Nate and stop him for a minute, but he does a lot. There's a lot that goes into it. Nate, hey, listen, again, it's always great to catch up with you here as the team race manager at Ocala Grand Prix. I know we got a lot to look forward to 2018, but again, it's always great to catch up with you and uh, get your insight. One final question. All right. Are you going to race anymore? I've seen photos of you and Chad out racing somewhere. Are you going to do any more racing, kart racing this year? With the way we had some stuff set up for a couple months from now, but we don't know if it's going to play out with our schedule, getting ready for Vegas right. and everything. But we're looking at Daytona over Christmas. Team manager Nate Grindel here at Ocala Grand Prix. I well, hope you enjoyed the show here today, and again, you'll be able to join us in the very near future for our next show. Be sure to follow us on Facebook at Ocala Grand Prix. Also, get all the information you need at OcalaGrandPrix.com. Hope to see you soon.